Aptura has confirmed that it plans to use Tesla's charge connector, now known as the North American Charging Standard, in its upcoming solar electric car. Hi, this is Echo Electric, where we talk about all things concerning EVs. Remember to like the video. If you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay connected. Before we get into the video, I'd like to pass on a special message regarding one of our core team members here at Echo Electric. Lewin is a founding writer and editor here at Echo Electric. He is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. Lewin has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, and his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Despite the severe, debilitating pain episodes, frequent hospitalization, and bed rest recommendations, Lewin still puts up with creating the unique content we put out here. Lewin is indeed a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. Lewin's health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. We'll really wish that he stays healthy. We hope you'll want that too. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. Tesla opens its EV charge connector. Earlier this month, Tesla surprised many by announcing that it is opening its EV charge connector in the hope of making it the new standard in North America. Tesla said they are going to be sharing its EV charging connector design in an effort to encourage network operators and automakers to adopt the technology and help make it the new standard in North America. Tesla said in a blog post that its design and specification files are available for download. The company said it is actively working with relevant standards bodies to codify Tesla's charging connector as a public standard. Did Aptura's have a hand in this? At the time, it was reported that Aptura might have had a hand in Tesla deciding to open in charge connector to the industry. A few months prior to Tesla opening its charging standard, Aptera launched a petition for Tesla's charge connector to become the new standard for electric vehicles in North America. It gathered almost 40,000 signatures before Tesla got on board, and EVgo has added Tesla connectors to some of its charging stations in the United States. Now in an email to reservation holders and investors, Aptera thanked its community for helping push the petition and confirmed that it now plans to integrate Tesla's connector, now the North American charging standard. Aptera is a California-based company building a battery and solar-powered, super-efficient three-wheeler electric car. It claims a range of up to 1,000 miles and achieves that by making the vehicle extremely lightweight, with three wheels and a drag coefficient of only 0.13. When you are building a super-efficient vehicle like that, Every little bit of volume and weight improvement is important down to the connector, and an early prototype of the Aptra SEV featured a Tesla connector. Remember when our founders started a conversation about the need for a greater emphasis on efficiency and accessibility in EV charging infrastructure? Steve and Chris launched a petition urging policymakers to implement Tesla's connector and plug as the standard for EV charging in the U.S. with your support. The petition continues to gain momentum. It has received over 40,000 signatures and counting. And just four months later, Tesla announced its decision to open its connector design to the world. We are willing to bet the buzz you generated around the petition played a part in this, and we look forward to incorporating NACS in our SEVs. Thank you for challenging the status quo. About Tesla's connector. The Tesla charging connector is the most proven in North America offering AC charging and up to 1 MW DC charging in one slim package. It has no moving parts, is half the size, and twice as powerful as combined charging system connectors. Tesla's connector, or the NACS connector, is the most common charging standard in North America. NACS vehicles outnumber CCS 2 to 1, and Tesla's supercharging network has 60% more NACS posts than all the CCS equipped networks combined. Network operators already have plans in motion to incorporate NACS at their chargers. The design and specification files are now available for download. The North American charging standard exists in both a 500 volt rated configuration and a 1000 volt rated configuration. 
The 1000 volt version is mechanically backwards compatible, that is, 500 volt inlets can mate with 1000 volt connectors, and 500 volt connectors can mate with 1000 volt inlets. The charging connector in all Tesla vehicles offers AC charging and up to 1 MW DC charging. Its compact design and performance is considered superior to the combined charging system connectors used by most EVs in North America. It's a stat based on Tesla vehicle sales in North America and the number of chargers at its branded supercharging stations. Tesla has nearly 1,500 supercharger stations in the United States. Each station has an average of nine chargers. Tesla didn't name any automakers or charging infrastructure companies as converts. In this highly competitive environment, in which virtually every automaker is now using the CCS, it's hard to see GM, Ford, and Stellantis switching to Tesla's technology. But EV startup Aptera supports the move. The company said in the blog post that network operators already have plans in motion to incorporate NACS at their chargers. If network providers like ChargePoint, EV Connect, or Electrify America add NACS, it would allow Tesla owners to charge at these stations without a need for an adapter. If automakers switch to NACS on its EVs, it would give owners of those vehicles access to Tesla's North American supercharging and destination charging networks. Tesla provides a Tesla charger adapter cable with every car they sell that allows their cars to use charging stations that have a J1772 connector. This means that every electric vehicle sold in North America can use any charging station that comes with the standard J1772 connector. In the coming months, Aptera is planning to start production of its electric solar car, which starts at $25,900. Deliveries are expected to start next year, and there is already a lot of demand for the vehicle. The company says that it has accumulated over 37,000 reservations, which each require a $100 deposit. This could be a fantastic development. Aptura would have the best connector design, and now that Tesla has released the technical details, it will be much easier to adopt. On the other hand, it could be ideal for Tesla. Tesla may have a less than altruistic motivation to open its charging standard, despite the fact that most people agree it is the best. While the U.S. government did not require charging stations to work with the CCS connector, it did require that those receiving funding work with EVs from more than one automaker. For the time being, this condition disqualifies Tesla's supercharger stations. However, if just one carmaker adopts Tesla's connection or the North American charging standard, Tesla's supercharger network will be eligible for incentives. After a vehicles with the NACS connection and access to Tesla superchargers would be eligible for the incentives, as would the automaker's new charging stations. It would be a win-win situation for both Tesla and Aptera. I would not be surprised if Tesla were engaged with Aptera. That would be fantastic. But what do you think about Aptera's move to adopt Tesla's connector to their SEV? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this coming in the future. And if you feel touched to contribute to Lewin's treatment, don't forget to check out the GoFundMe page in the description below. Thank you, and thanks for watching.